I have been pronouncing this as Little Hiawatha my entire life. I used to have a book of this. I remember loving it very fondly. I have only just now for the first time watched the, the Disney short and they pronounce it Little Hiawatha. So I'm going to try my best to pronounce it such throughout the rest of this. But I do apologise if I do occasionally pronounce it Hiawatha instead of Hiawatha. Little Hiawatha is a 1937 short and this was directed by David Hand and in this one it's based on Little Hiawatha and we have the character of Little Hiawatha who is this little child who doesn't look like he has much strength to him. His trousers are constantly falling down and he's constantly trying to wiggle them back up and he's got this adorable little bow and arrow that he kind of tries to shoot at different animals which is not the best message but the animation style is very cute and because it's a really small child doing it you kind of let it slide and then we have this bear and things take a very interesting turn and there's a very cute little bear cub who kind of mirrors the statue of little Hiawatha. It's a very sweet cartoon. I think it works well because little Hiawatha is very adorable. There are obviously questions regarding the authenticity of the representation of little Hiawatha but I don't think that that's too much of a problem because it's not really meant to be taken that seriously. Having said that, I don't know that much about the background of of little Hiawatha as a character. If you know anything about this representation of young American Indian little Hiawatha and how accurate it would have been, I'm going to say not accurate at all. But I don't think it's meant to be an accurate representation. I think it's meant to be a very cute, heartfelt and thought-provoking um, little representation based on the poem. Um, the poem, I don't think I mentioned this, is actually by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, which is definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. And I think the animation is one of the two reasons why this is adorable. Um, I think it's very cute, it works very well. Obviously with this being marketed as a little American Indian boy, there are going to be questions of political correctness nowadays. I, But it's not necessarily showing little Hiawatha in a negative light. I don't think anybody watching this would think negatively towards Native Americans in general. So it's actually one of the very few classic shorts that incorporates a Native American character that isn't potentially offensive. I think it's just very sweet and a really lovely story that's... Um, very fun to watch. I don't remember if this is exactly like the book that I had. Um, the, an the, the animation is very similar. The illustration of the canoe in the book came straight back to my mind when I was watching this short. So there are some similarities. Um, it brought back a lot of fun memories and I, I had a lot of fun watching it. I think it's really well, really well animated. In fact, the movement of the animals particularly is quite pleasing. There are a lot of different animals in this one and they all seem to work well together. Um, there, there, Thinking back, there are a lot of different breeds of animals. Some of them probably could not cohabit. But it's fun to kind of see how little Hiawatha interacts with him. He's a very cute character. I really, really enjoyed it. Not necessarily historically, ac historically accurate, but not offensive either, which is a very rare thing for Disney at this time. I think little Hiawatha is very cute.